Hello kids today we shall learn more about the magnets In the earlier class we saw many uses of magnets in compass to know the direction pencil box with magnetic lids magnetic stickers in motors generators in making speaker in TV radio sound box magnets are also used to make holders to keep small pins and even to lift huge and heavy metal weights so we see some are small and some are large magnets even magnets of different shapes are there but where do people find such magnets do we find all this in nature no few magnets are found in nature like that black rock or we can say the magnet found by magnus these are natural magnets as we saw in the story the crooks used magnets of different shapes and sizes one crook had a magnet at the tip of his stick which he used to find the metallic flute the other crook had magnet bracelet which he used to bring the metallic stick towards himself and even to shake the pot these were artificial magnets only not all magnets are found in the nature we humans cannot increase the power of natural magnets as desired also they are not found in the perfect geometrical shape to be used in machines and devices so we found many ways to make powerful magnets of desired shape and even strength for the use this kind of man-made magnet is called an artificial magnet humans have made magnets of many shapes bar magnet u shaped horseshoe magnet ring magnet cylindrical magnet ball ended magnet etc are the most famous ones now you must be wondering how to make a magnet is it very hard and can only be made in factories no we can make our own magnet too surprising isn't it let us make it ourselves just take a rectangular piece of iron and place it on the table now take a bar magnet and place one of its pole say the north pole on one end of the iron piece say on point a now drag the magnet on the iron till the other end of the iron piece is reached now lift the magnet and bring the north pole that is the same pole we started with to the same point of the iron bar from which we began that is point a move the magnet again along the iron bar in the same direction as we did before we need to repeat this whole process for 30 40 times that is dragging the magnet along the iron piece in the same way we did before remember that the pole of the magnet and the direction of its movement should not change or else we won't get our magnet i know it will take some time but remember we are making our own magnet okay now let us check if the magnet is ready bring an iron pin near the iron piece see it's attracting the pin which means we have made our own magnet hooray we did it can magnet be made of anything like wood glass copper plastic etc no it has to be made of magnetic substances only like iron cobalt etc we made a magnet but how did that iron piece become a magnet you know when a magnet attracts a magnetic substance it gives some of its magnetic power to it temporarily this property is called magnetic induction when the magnet attracts the iron piece it gives little magnetic power to it which would vanish once the magnet is taken away but after repeating the rubbing process for so many times that magnetic power becomes more permanent 
Thus, magnetic induction can turn a magnetic substance into a magnet. A weak magnet can be made at home, but making a powerful magnet is not so easy. We also need to handle magnets properly or else they become weak or even lose their magnetic power. So how can a magnet lose its power? A magnet can lose its power in many ways like heating a magnet or striking it hard can take away its power. Also dropping a magnet from height can decrease its power. So we should handle it with care. You know magnets can become weak even if they are not stored properly. So what can be done to avoid this? Bar magnets should be kept in pairs with their opposite poles on the same side. They must be separated by a piece of wood while two pieces of soft iron should be placed across their ends that is one piece at each end. In case of the horseshoe magnet, iron piece should be kept across the poles. Lastly, a word of caution. Strong magnets can harm the weaker magnets. So, we should keep the strong magnets away from the electronic devices that use magnet like TV, computer, speaker, CDs, mobile phones, etc. Let us take care of the magnets and keep the useful machines running. Have fun with magnets. Bye bye children.